Hello, hello. Welcome to my video. I'm Anna Taraxia, and today we are going to set some goals. So in terms of materials, all you need is something to write slash draw on and any medium of your choice. There are three steps which I'll be taking you through now. Step one is planning and sketching. So I actually already did the planning a few weeks ago and I'm just referencing that here. I have seven goals that I put into this piece, but you can have however many feels right. I tried to avoid having too many though, because then it can be hard to put enough focus into each one. I also left some room at the top that can be used later for a title slash quote slash positive affirmation, which can be useful for setting goals. More on that later. And now for the sketching. I'm just coming up with a very literal representation of each goal. For example, for my book-related goals, I'm drawing a stack of books. Keeping it simple, but trying to pack a lot of meaning into each one. In this case, the reason it's a stack instead of just one book is because I want to read more of them this year. For most of these representations, I'm looking at pictures on Google and modifying them to better align with my specific goals. So the key at this stage is to really hone in on what exactly you want to see so that when you look at this vision board in the future, you can instantly be reminded of what you want to achieve. Here I'll include just a bit more of my process so you can see how I approach this step. But the beauty of curating your own vision board is that you can make it look however you want. And now we're on to step two, adding color. For me, this was the fun part. I also just went through and inked everything beforehand, but you don't have to. As I mentioned before, my first goals have to do with reading, writing, and very far in the future, writing books. I found that as I progressed through high school and the first years of college, I've been reading less and less and spending more time on YouTube and Netflix. If you're watching this, maybe you can relate. But the thing is, there's so many good books out there that I want to read and that I think I can learn a lot from. So I definitely want to make a conscious effort to do, to do that over this ongoing quarantine. I'm also taking an introductory book arts class this term remotely, so that will be interesting, which is why making books is also a goal. And although I don't think I'll be writing a whole book anytime soon, I definitely want to practice my writing and explore more creative writing outside of the usual bounds of essays for class. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have a feather quill to write with, but it's just more aesthetic. And for me, the enter key symbolizes the continuation of writing. So my next goal is to socially advance and sew some pants. And yes, that is a Hamilton reference. I initially put it in there just to be a reference, and I realized that social advancement can also refer to social media, which is not how Hercules Mulligan said it, but this is my little ode to the amazing musical. And I actually do want to sew another pair of shorts because I don't have too many right now, and I think it could be a fun project as I attempt to learn how to use this sewing machine that's been sitting unused in our closet for maybe 15 years. <laughs> And although this is kind of a loose connection, I also want to exercise more. And that tiny little rectangle will become my purple yoga mat. Okay, so this is a relatively anatomically correct heart and it symbolizes learning to love myself, uh, which is kind of hard sometimes, but it's also so important. I think this is a process that stretches through our entire lives, and sometimes we do better at it and sometimes we don't. I'm putting it up here because it's such a worthwhile goal, and at the end of the day, we have to love ourselves first. Now the pocket watch is actually based off of the White Rabbit's pocket watch from Alice in Wonderland, which reminds me to take time for myself, and also that it can be kind of fun to fall down a rabbit hole every once in a while.
Next is a 2D version of my Windsor Nudant watercolor palette, which I've had for years now, but haven't really made much use of until the spring and summer of COVID-19. I actually stole some of the pans from my sister's older palette, which is why they look more used up, but it's really within the last few months that I discovered how much I enjoy this medium. So this was a fun representation to paint because I got to directly transfer what was on my palette to the paper, messy mixing pans and all. And it's just so colorful. <laughs> And here is my creating video school. I just painted a mini landscape with a play button and it occurs to me now that the path looks like it's leading up to the play button, which I find amusing. Uh, the goal here isn't to become a YouTuber per se. I have no idea if anyone will watch this or not, but if you are, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, <laughs> also, now that I've done this thumbnail, I kind of actually want to paint the scene. And last but not least, I've added a few drifting clouds throughout the piece. These to me symbolize change and the fact that everything is changing all the time. I can personally be a bit resistant to change and I like for things to feel comfortable and stay the same. But at the same time, the world can change in an instant and we just have to accept that. For instance, my study abroad program got canceled two days before class registration back in July and that was stressful but there isn't really anything I can do about it, so instead of trying to improve my Spanish this semester, I'll be trying to improve my Chinese by talking to my parents, which is why I have Chinese slash Asian style clouds. And although change is scary, sometimes it is also all too necessary. As we've seen in the recent case of COVID-19 revealing flaws and huge disparities in our healthcare, and recent protests trying to fix, among other things, our very broken policing system, at least in the United States. Because Black Lives Matter, and they always have, but I think a lot more people are now waking up to the vast amounts of inequality not only present, but codified in our institutions, and realizing that we have a lot more work to do, and I know that I personally still have a lot to learn. Also, I definitely need to get on top of this as well, but if you need one, here's your reminder to register to vote. Okay, so step three is finishing touches. I was actually recently watching a video about the philosophy of Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender, and I realized that I have to include this icon somehow in my vision board. There isn't a specific goal aligned with this, but more just an outlook on life, because if you watch the show, you know that Uncle Iroh is out there living his best life. Yes, it's falling leaves perhaps even leaves from the vine. Okay, that's all I'll say about that, but now the last step is to fill in that blank space on the top. What I decided on is a positive affirmation. I am worthy. It's short because there's already a lot of text on my vision board and I want it to be much larger in size. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, affirmations are messages that you can repeat to yourself to help overcome negative or self-sabotaging thoughts. I'll link below in the description box a set of them by Jennifer Williamson if you're searching for any. Some others I really like from that resource. I'm too busy falling in love with my life to let comparison distract me. I am the beauty I've decided to become. To be honest, I still feel sort of strange saying these out loud, but the idea is that with time, we start to internalize affirmations and truly believe them. Because I am worthy of love and self-love, of success if I work for it, and so are you.
And with that, we are done. By the way, if you can tell me what book the quotes are from in my book representation, you won't get any prizes, but I'll be impressed. There's a pretty solid hint in this video, so I think you can do it. That's all for today. If you were inspired by this to create your own vision board, I'd love to know how it went. And feel free to share some of your goals in the comments so we can all support each other. With love, anatraxia.